You're checking on your phone. Oh, uh, yeah. Are we live? Are we seeing anything? Uh, Brooke is testing on her phone to see if we are actually live. We're on. We're on. Yay. We have one viewer. Yay. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Seven. Okay. I don't know who's around on the Saturday. It's a Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. Before Christmas. But Brooke and I have been at a Christmas tea today and we came home and got in our jammies, jammies. <laughs> and we thought we would just hop on to a YouTube live. And I could not remember from the last time how to do this thing. I feel like the oh, we need to figure out comments. software is just a little bit hard. Yes, you're right. I need to figure out the comments right. really quickly. Bear with but me. Until then, I will um, go on and see you guys' comments. So yeah, Can you um, see them? Okay. We're going to be doing our boxy charm. Yes, because we're a little late on doing the boxy charm. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. We just didn't so do them people this have been month. Saying just hey, hi, hi. Someone, someone said I am waiting on pizza. Okay, someone, you know, good for you. We ate way too much at this tea today. Oh gosh, yes. Someone said hi from Finland. Oh hi from Finland, or not from Finland, from New Orleans to Finland. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, okay. I see it here. Let's see if um. Isn't there a button you hit? And it's yeah. Kind of I don't know why this has to be so complicated. Someone said. I think my glossy box is arriving today. <laughs> okay, I haven't gotten glossy box. How do you like that compared to BoxyCharm and have you gotten both? I'm interested in that. I'm also interested in the, um, oh, I have the comments. All right. I'm also interested in the Allure box. I was actually thinking about getting that. Were we bigger last time? Yeah, that's my fault, Brooke. Sorry. I'm, I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting some settings right now. All right. I'll just. Okay. All right. I'm getting everything straight. Sorry, guys. I promise yes. I will be engaged in a second. <laughs> but in the meantime. Oh. You got Brooke. Yeah. Well, in this live, we're doing our boxy charm. And then are you talking about your clay thing, Alex? Yeah, my computer's. Like oh, um, someone asked, do we have FabFitFun? And we do. Well, she does, but I unbox it with her. Yes, that is up. Um, the winter Fab Fit Fun box, the um, unboxing is up on the channel already. Um, when did we do that? A while, like a couple no, weeks ago, yeah. maybe a month ago. But, no, not not a month. But um, but yeah, it's it's up already. So if you want to check that video out, we had a lot of fun. That that's my favorite box that we do. Yeah. I just I love it. I think it's great. Um, you're still on the waiting list. God, for Boxy Charm, well. Is the boxy box? Oh, the boxy charm, the full sizes. Yes, boxy charm is the full size. So that's what I do love about boxy charm. But I feel like I'm getting to a point where it's, I don't know, it's starting to feel like the same stuff. I don't know. What do you think? Do you like it? For boxy charm? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here, read that girl's comment about the. That girl. I mean, what is on my face? Don't. In the meantime, do y'all like my pajamas? They're green. <laughs> Just stand up on the bed like that. And then I have some snowman. Wait, you can't see them. I have some snowman. Hi. Jola, hola. Tell me, um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name. I have someone from Germany on here. That's pretty cool. Guys, look at my dog, Squishy. There's lots it's of unboxings going on really here. Really good. Yeah, okay. So someone else thinks Boxy Charms has gone down a downhill a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm. I'm Hearing some that prefer the glossy box and the lore box, and yeah, some people like your jam. Yes, thank you, April. Yeah, so we have Anne Marie. Anne -Marie. So tonight we have um, we call it Christmas Adam mm -hmm. at my husband's mom's house. We used to do all this hopping around on Christmas Eve, and we used to have to go from all kinds of places to from his mom's house to his sister's house, and blah blah blah. And so we just decided to move his mom's house to tonight so and she has it in jammies so we came home from our tea and we just went ahead and got a north yes. and PJs. her and it's her nice. shirt says crushing it if you like oh her. yeah Crush that's my it. shirt mm -hmm. yeah so, so i think it's old navy old navy right yeah it's yeah old navy. and these are from target so lonnie that's a nice name hi from tennessee that is where i'm originally from mm -hmm. um okay so 
we'll just wait, open this wait, little. Okay, it's saying I'm in slow mode. I don't know why. I don't where, think it's where slow. Where does it say that? Oh, 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 I have the comments slowed down a little bit because uh, last time they were going really, yeah. really fast. We had a hard time keeping up and we had to moderate some things because we had a couple of uh, questionable people on here. Okay. Not, not me, y'all. It was just kind of some trolly people pop in. Here's Luke in his nice sweater. My mom's on here. Hi, mom. Oh, hi. <laughs> Love you too. I'll see you in two days. So, okay. What? Oh, did you show Luke? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm sorry. I was, my mom was the, showing you know Amy. What? They saw it. If you saw it, comment Luke. Good. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Luke's being camera shy, which is very unusual. Okay, see? I'm not familiar with Derm Box. We do the Derm. Wait, I, I thought you do that. I do the Derm Store. Um, beauty fix box mm -hmm. and I have a video that I do every month for that if that's what you're referring to um, But yeah, I have so I have an unboxing playlist I don't know if y'all are familiar but on my channel page There's playlists that you can select and I have one that's entirely devoted to unboxings And you can see the unboxings that I do so I have one that's Derm store beauty fix And then we have the boxy charm and fab fit fun I used to do some for clothing and stuff, but I kind of tapered off of those for a while we are comfy, thank you. I do. I love the Beauty Fix box, really. Um, you know I like skincare, and I think it's a great deal for the money. So, yeah, you might want to go check those out and see what you get in those, but I think it's a good deal. I don't think it's something you're interested in because it's mostly skincare and stuff, but I have found some, some good products through that box. All right, well, shall we get started? We shall. I don't know. Why, why did we wait so long to open this? It was my fault. I think. I didn't Sorry. even know we got it. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. First thing. <laughs> Are you in charge or what? Yes, I am. Okay. Wait. Okay. This is a real her blush kit, and it says, be fearless, be limitless. Yes. And it is shrink-wrapped, so I've got to open this. It's gluten-free. Wait, I just saw them. Gluten-free. They make gluten Do anything. Okay. Gluten-free makeup? Oh, it's paraben-free. Okay. Multi free, gluten free, and natural ingredients. I'm trying to respond to the comments while you open. I'll do that while you open the thing. Yeah, okay. um, I keep hearing about that Ricky's box, and I've seen some stuff on my Instagram. I'll and some scissors. Okay. <laughs> and it looks really good. Um, I'm, I'm pretty interested in that box. Speaking of Instagram, I was just talking with Brooke about that. I hate the new algorithm on Instagram. I feel like. <laughs> I'm just under 5,000 followers and you have to be at 10,000 to have the swipe up feature on your story. I, I feel like I gain as many followers as I lose and I'm, I'm never going to get to the 10,000. It's driving me crazy. Um, yeah, Jan, I, I really like the boxes. I, you know, at first I was thinking, am I wasting money? But I feel like I know. as many products as I have discovered from them to be able to really try them out first. I feel like it's been a nice, I don't know if you can call it an investment, but um, it's, it's been a nice way to try out some things. Okay, so, I got it open. From the, yeah, um, BoxyCharm, we've gotten some things from this brand um, and I, other yeah, BoxyCharms. Yeah, I feel like I remember. A, uh, a lip liner, a liquid lipstick, and a lip gloss, How I think. I remember that. I have a good memory. So I didn't like the liquid effective. lipstick at all. I liked the lip gloss and I liked the lip liner. All right, shall we open this? Yes, but you have to get closer, girl. I am. <laughs> should I take the plastic off? You should. Okay, this is what they look like. They're you pretty. Can, you can see yeah. the computer. Yeah. I know, I'm trying. Every, sometimes when I move closer, the computer goes a little dark. But they're pretty. So this one has a slight sheen to it. And I don't know if y'all can see that. And then that's kind of a coral color, and that's a bronzy shade. Y'all want us to swatch them? Have y'all seen yes. this before? Brooke says yes. Okay, let's swatch them. All right. Right. So that's kind of how I figure is that um, I have a comment from what is on my face that says she subscribes to a oh, lot of boxes. that's box Lonnie. That's Lonnie. That's Lonnie. That says she subscribes to a lot of boxes and she has four daughters and one of them will take the items that she doesn't like. So <laughs> she gets some of the items and I have a drawer right now. Actually, I could probably bring some of them 
tonight to my nieces. I have some products down there and I've given some stuff to my mom who I think is still on here. Um, you know, that I just, you know, maybe they don't work for me or my coloring or my skin type or something like that. And I can just pass them down. So. Okay. I finished watching. <gasps> okay. This is what they <laughs> want to turn like. your arm. <laughs> and there's the, yeah, this one is a shimmery. This one's more like chalky kind of, and then that one's like bronzy. Mm -hmm. So comment which one y'all like the best, the shimmer, the matte, I guess. Shimmer, matte, or bronze. Here mm -hmm. are the options. Yeah. So. It looks pretty, and they look like they would work for all different skin tones, too. Yeah. So we'll see which one people like more. Shimmer, matte, bronze. Yeah, April uh, says that she didn't like the real her liquid lip either. It crumbled. Yeah, I just did not... Um, it was very dry and I do not like dry liquid lipsticks. I can't stand them. And it was one that I got rid of pretty, pretty much immediately. I tried it once. It was done. I was over it. All those do look nice. I like this. Me too. And I like the white. It's magnetic, by the way. It um, kind of pops back down. Someone um, voted for matte. It's a pretty, the coral, it's, I love coral blushes. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's, I've got my ring light on to try and overcome the shadow, but we have natural light and it's, when we get closer, it's just kind of, it's using the webcam. I had somebody with the other live video that we did just come on and leave a comment that said, your video is grainy. I was like, it's live video. I, you know, it's just part of the territory. <laughs> Speaking of live video. <laughs> Things that I can edit out in a real video. <laughs> There's a person walking by. Oh. That's oh, what we it's get. A dog. There's a dog walking by. Luke's guarding us from the fierce dog. That's tinier than him. They do all look nice. Okay, so Teresa Ooh. says she accidentally pulled all of her lashes out while they <laughs> grow back. Teresa. Oh, um, God. I don't know. I uh, I would try a lash syrup. Oh, somebody's dog just went nuts when they heard Luke. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I uh, I don't know about your lashes. I'm so sorry about that. I I I'm not an expert or a dermatologist or anything like that. But I mean, I would definitely would try a lash serum or castor oil or something like that to see or. Um, go see your doctor because yikes, I'm so sorry about that. Um, so April, I feel like I'm in the minority on the wet and wild liquid cat suits because for some reason, the two shades that I got were really patchy. I'm actually going to do a video on some products. I feel like I am in the minority on, uh, like very unpopular soon. Unpopular opinions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I like those types of videos. Me too. Um, well, I watch book ones, but. Yeah. So Annette says that um, argan oil helps with growing your lashes. So there is a viewer suggestion for you. I'm actually reading these out loud because your chat disappears once the video goes live. So the comments can't see the chat. So, um, yes, so Teresa, some... keep us updated if you can um, come back and report back in the comments or on another video and let me know what works for you because there may be someone else that has that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'd like to know. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Candace. What's on my wish list? I've had a problem coming up with something for my wish list because I don't know. I, re I really don't know. I've, you know, I've kind of been in between jobs. So my main thing on my wish list was to find another job before the new year. And I, I did, by the way, I don't think I've announced that on YouTube for those of you that knew I did on social media. So I'm starting a new job in January. Um, but we do have to go car shopping. Um, yeah. so yeah, cause I went from a company car to I'll have a car allowance, which will be fine. But, um, I don't know. I really couldn't. It was hard to shop for her. I had to come up with something that mm -hmm. I thought. Yeah. Cause Michael kept asking me what I wanted but he's a last minute shopper. So I didn't really know how, what to tell him. I mean, I know I'm, I'm saving up for like some tech stuff, you know, for this whole YouTube and Instagram thing, but to tell people what I really want, I don't know. 
And then if I tell Michael, oh, hey, I really want this other perfume, he's going to look at my perfume shelf and be like, seriously, really? You don't need another perfume. But I don't know. Sure. Okay, are we ready for the next product? That was the clear-cut answer for you, huh? <laughs> okay, next thing, I'll blind pick. Okay. Thank you, okay. Candace. I'm very excited about it. Thank this, you. This is a Be Beauté Basics palette, I'm guessing. Bronze Essentials. This is what it looks like. Okay. Okay, let's... Oh! Ooh. Show it, show it, show it, girl. Okay, whatever. That's pretty. That's so pretty. I'm not familiar with this brand or this product or anything like that. It's, it's, on the it's got a um, sticker over it oh. so that it doesn't break. We'll talk about things breaking and shipping in a minute. <laughs> if you've been following me on Snapchat or Instagram, you probably know what I'm talking about. I'll talk about it in a minute. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. So well, I have... really want to swatch the shimmery, can I? Yeah, babe. Ooh, it feels good. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, you gotta show the people. Dishwasher. Okay, there it is. It looks more like orangey, kind of. So Karen is asking what my box subscription, what box subscription is my favorite? FabFitFun. Um, yeah, I like FabFitFun. FabFitFun is my favorite, but it's quarterly. Um, it is the most expensive, but again, it's quarterly and you get a lot in that box. It's not just beauty. It's everything. And I love it. You love it. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's fab fit fun. And, um, as far as beauty, I, I don't know. I like, I think I really am liking the Derm store beauty fix box, even though, you know, it's mostly skincare, but they do include some beauty too. But I'm, I've been enjoying that one a lot. So, I don't know. I don't know if I've been doing um, BoxyCharm for too long. I, I don't know if I'm becoming like, you know, everything's starting to look the same. But I don't know. But so far, this one's looking pretty good. So, who knows? Maybe I'll be proven wrong with this one. But I'm, I'm liking sure. these kind of domed looking Okay. Are things. we ready for the next, I guess? Um, yes. Need is definitely a relative term. I did need a job, though. But I'll put it that way. <laughs> Ooh, next is a Tarte Tardis mascara. Do you already have this? Uh, congrats on the new dishwasher, Teresa. That's a good present. I love this mascara. So should I not open it? Yeah, don't open it because I've got some um, mascaras in my rotation, and I don't usually like to open a new mascara because you know there is a oh. time limit on mascaras. I you meant put it in like a giveaway. <laughs> Oh no, I won't use that. Oh. <laughs> I like this. This is a good mascara. So if you have not used the Tarte Tartist mm -hmm. mascara, mm -hmm. this is a really good mascara. Um, I have wimpy lashes. I need volume and length. And I really do like this one. One I like even better is the Tarte Man Eater. I like She's both of those Tarte mas mas meh. mascaras. I can't talk today. <laughs> We've been talking a ton today. Yes, at the tea especially. Mm -hmm. We're talking a lot. Oh, thank you, Heather, um, about the two palettes from Sephora. Yes, We're, I'm going to talk about those in a minute. My two Clay Play two palettes. Don't spoil it. I know. Arrived broken. Yeah. I'll talk about it in a minute. All right, next though. thing. Next thing. Oh, it's a brush. It's a crown blush brush. Can I open it? Sure. Oops. Okay, oh. so this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Yeah. It reminds me of the Wet n' Wild brushes, the white ones, except they're pink at the mm, top. It's not as soft. It's not, it's, it's not the softest brush I've ever felt, but it's pretty good. You feel May it. May I feel it? Yes. <laughs> it's got some finger divots in it. Can you guys see that? Oh, that's cool. So for comfort, I mean, crown make some good brushes. Sometimes brushes get softer when you wash them. I, I think it's it's pretty soft, but it's not the softest I felt either. And it is pretty dense for a, it says blush brush? Yeah, it says pro blush brush. I feel like I would use this brush more for like a finishing powder to buff it in or you could use that for contour. I don't know, it feels like it's a little dense for a blush brush for me personally. I'll try it out, we'll see. All right. I think. Merry Christmas, Heather. I think there's one more. I'm glad we Merry figured Christmas. out this live thing again. Okay, this is the last thing. Okay. Ooh, 
it's a pretty vulgar um my lips are sealed lip gloss that's i have never tried anything by this brand have you guys <laughs> luke <laughs> he's crying is it another doll look at how pretty the packaging is though it has roses on it see this color looks really pretty um so uh, Barbara asked if I have, um, if I get the Ipsy or the Playbox. I don't. Um, Ipsy actually contacted me recently um, about doing an unboxing, but it was a little, it, it didn't fit with my timetable with the new job and stuff. I just, I couldn't get it out in time. I'm interested. I mean, I would pay for it. I just hadn't thought about it, I guess. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like a lot of people that do their unboxings are younger than I am. I don't know. Is I don't know. What are their products like? I hadn't even really paid attention to it. This is this gloss. It's really pretty. I love that. It's really pretty. Yeah, I like this too. Oh, hers was fuchsia. I would wear that. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a fuchsia wearer, so I'm really glad I got this one. This is really pretty. This reminds me of the... Um, the Bite Champagne Lip Set. If you guys it's saw so my... Cool. November okay. favorites. I talked about that champagne discovery lip set from bite and there is a metallic lip gloss in that and I love it. I actually had it on earlier today and it's got a little bit more or a little bit less pink in it, but it's metallic -y like this and I have been loving that. I would definitely definitely wear this. All right. Well, that's it for our okay. boxy chart. So one, two, three, four, five products in this one. Three. Four, five. Yeah. So actually, I'm I'm actually really happy with this box. It's like every month when I think I'm ready to quit BoxyCharm, they end up redeeming themselves, and I really like it again. They never ever did do anything about my broken Pure Soiree palette, and I will remind you guys of that every time I get a BoxyCharm. It just drives me crazy. They never offered me anything other than charms from their charm store, which are basically good for nothing. So I'm still irritated about that and I will continue and forever be irritated about that because I just think it's crap that that's all that they offer if something arrives broken. So, um, you know, what it sell out who me? No. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? I'm pay. I pay for this box. I do not get it for free. I pay every month for this box. So, um, I don't know. That's good. It's a good box. Um, let's see. Yes, it was a good box. Um, what was I going to say? I had something to say and then I got About derailed. the broken palette? What is that? Oh, is that slime? Oh, yeah. God, I thought that was something for the box. Um, yeah, so for those of you... Oh, Lonnie says you need to try that magnetic slime, bro. Yes, that is one of the ones I, um, have on my... Like, that's the one, one of the... Thinking putties. There's a magnetic thinking putty, which is what I'm playing with right now, <clears throat> and it's like really good. So that's at the top of my thinking putty list. Yes, she has a, a nice Christmas list. Yes, but nothing, nothing big. Oh no, no, it's a very, it's a reasonable one. Nothing huge or oh, anything like oh. that. Just very, very varied. And if you want to see it, what's on my Christmas list? I made a video on my YouTube channel. She did. She did. So it's you can nice go video. see that. Um, so Annette, I, I did seriously consider canceling and I've written them the last letter that I wrote them. They never responded back. Um, because at first I was like, okay, fine, I'll take the charms. And then I kept checking the charm store again and again to see if anything was worth getting and it wasn't. And so I wrote them again and I said, okay, I've been thinking about this. I just think that it's your way of getting out of taking responsibility for items arriving broken and you're just not going to do anything for your consumers. And I will tell my viewers, I mean, not like it's a threat or anything. I'm not the hugest YouTuber ever, but I just said that, you know, I'm, I do have some influence and I've had other viewers have things arrive broken and have nothing done about it. And I just, I think it's wrong. And they totally ignore my email twice, twice they ignore my email. So that's why I have an issue. My thing is that I do like the box and it's, you know, do I cancel on principle or do I keep getting a box that I like? I don't know. So I'm kind of in that 
pickle because I do like the box, but that's why I'm looking at other boxes. So I've been looking at glossy box and I've been looking at a, the Allure box, but I want to get a box that is kind of similar where you get some more deluxe size or full size where you get a lot for your money. I'm not sure if the Ipsy or the play box, I feel like a lot of people aren't on board with the play box a lot lately. I don't know. There I go with the chin again. Why did I do that? I don't know. Um, I don't know. So that's my, that's my quandary. Um, so if you've been following me on social media, uh, you know that I ordered the clay play two palette the day of launch. The Tarte has a new clay play palette. I have them right here. Um, they do need to step up the customer service for boxy charm Heather. Absolutely. And okay. The only reason why I know which clay pipe out is which is because one of them has plastic sticking out. I'm going to do a video on the palette. So I'm not going to get too in depth with my review and stuff, but I want to tell my little story. I have the clay play palette. I've done a couple of videos on it. I love this palette. I think it's great. I think it's worth everybody owning. Um, I, I just love it. I can use it for my entire full face. I mean, aside from like foundation and concealer and stuff like that, but, um, you know, I've done a look with it. I've done a review on it. I think it's great. So when they came out with the clay play Two palette, I ordered it from Sephora the day of launch and it came fairly quickly and it came completely shattered. The highlight in the bottom right corner is completely shattered. So their customer service was fabulous. Um, they promptly sent me a new palette. They actually DM'd me or had me DM them on Twitter and they sent me a brand new palette and it was within like a day or two that I got it. They even called me to make sure that the new palette came, there weren't any issues. While I was on the phone or right after I got off the phone, UPS was in front of my house. I got the new palette again, shattered highlighter everywhere in the palette. But after I posted that first story, okay, um, Poor thing, she's heard this story like three times. <laughs> um, several people had responded that their highlighters came broken too. So it is, there's something with this highlighter. It is very fragile, but Sephora is not packing this palette well. They are putting one layer of bubble wrap on the bottom, putting the palette in, and then just wadding up paper and putting it on top. So the palette is floating around. Um, it's just, it's a disaster all the way around. I appreciate the customer service, but so I called and talked to somebody. The first girl that I called and talked to about the first palette was wonderful. The second girl that I called and talked to with Sephora was, she didn't really care. She refunded my money because I'm not doing it a third time. <laughs> she refunded my money. And, um, I just said that I was going to try and get it in person and that was going to be it. Well, last night I was laying in bed. It was about one in the morning and I thought, you know, I'm going to review this palette anyway. I'm going to clean it up and review the palette because I can press the highlighter back in. It's soft and I can get a gist of what the colors look like anyway. So I did that and it's dawning on me. I mean, I noticed it when it came, but <clears throat> It is dawning on me. I mean, you can't tell the difference in the palettes. I mean, this is, this is one, this is two. So, you know, I'm going to get into this in my review and I have some more things to say, but let's, let's not forget the fact that they didn't change the names at all in the palette. Like, like literally this is the Onyx shade that's in the palette one. I'll get into that in the review. It, it's a, it's a pretty palette. I have it on my eyes today. I just went with a very neutral look. So this is the two. I cleaned up the highlighter shade. I did see a review um, from a girl. Um, I'm blanking. I'm blanking out her name. I'm going to link her in my review. She was in the middle of reviewing it, and the palette and the highlighter crumbled on her. So, other than that, I like the palette. I don't think it's nearly as functional as this one, though. But I am questioning what's going on. Why didn't they change any of the names of these shades? It's very strange. So um, I'm not going to purchase a brand new one of this because I'm just not. <laughs> I'm just going to deal with this one. Um, 
I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. So it's been kind of a disaster. I was really, really excited about getting this palette because I thought, okay, it's got a couple of shimmery shades. I like having a shimmery shade on my lid. And it's got a blush. That's kind of cool because, you know, just having to throw on a blush most times with this. I, I mean, I could use this one as a blush, but anyway, this, it was very, very disappointing to get two broken palettes days from each other when they said they were going to pack it much better and they didn't. So that's my, my story. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, I know they're not um, always sending the uh, point park items and the samples that you pick either. And I have been getting on my social media, a lot of people responding that they're not, um, packing things and it's not just this palette they're not packing things the way they used to or the way that they should but don't you think it's bizarre that they are putting the clay play 2 palette in the exact same packaging as the clay play 1 like you literally cannot tell the difference in these palettes except for the sticker on the back it's it's really weird Yes. Um, so Shelly asks, they sell a product where you can fix. I mean, Annette, yeah, they sell a product where you can fix anything broken in a palette. Yes. But when you buy a brand new palette, it should arrive brand new. I mean, if I break it on my own, that's one thing. But if I'm paying good money for a palette, I want it to be intact. You know what I mean? Um, so, okay, so Shelly says, I looked online and so many of the shades were the same between the two and only the shimmers were different. So I'm not sure if I mind that as much as most people because from what I understand, they're discontinuing Clay Play 1. And and I, I'm going to get into all this in my review, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so like Solstice Sand, all the names are the same. So, I mean, I could say Solstice Sand and... And instinct are the same, but literally all the shade names printed on here are the exact same shade names that are printed on here. So, but I've swatched them and yes, these three are exactly the same. And this is exactly the same. Um, it looks like journey is the same too. Um, I think Ember is a little bit different. This Ember seems a little bit warmer, like more close to or closer to something that's in, in bloom maybe. Um, so like, I'm, I'm just going to hold it up above it so you guys can see. I'm, I'm scared this highlighter is going to fall out on my bed because it's still very crumbly. And it gets darker the closer I get, so I kind of have to go back. So you might have to put this on big screen. So the top is the clay clay one. So the shimmers are, are, are this row right here. And again, I'm doing a review on it. So if you miss it here, you'll see it in my, my review. But I don't really mind having some of the same shades because these three shades are key for me with this Clay Play Palette 1 because I would use this on my... <laughs> I would It just closed on me. I would use this on my entire lid. I would use this as a transition and I would use this as a highlight for my brow bone. So if they're discontinuing the one, um, and maybe you didn't get the one, you got the two, it would be nice to still have those three shades and to have those in a palette. So I don't mind that. And then I would use that. Sometimes I would use this as a transition or I would use this, um, you know, it's just a, a, a more gradient crease shade. And then this is the shade I use in my brows. I have it in my brows today. So I like having those shades. And then I would use this in my crease a ton. So from being a, you know, the standpoint of being a versatile palette, I, I like that. And since they are saying, okay, it's a clay play too, it's supposed to be an all over face palette. What's not in here, let's see, I'm getting it to my review. <laughs> there's not a liner shade. There's not really a shade to really deep in the crease. There's shimmers for the lid, but there's not, um, you know, a contour shade. You know, I use this desert shade to contour with. That's not in there. I mean, I have a blush. The trade-off is having a blush. So, um, you know, there's a pretty much a useless highlighter. I tried to highlight with this morning. I couldn't do it. Uh, it's too crumbly. Now, Brooke says I need to press it in with alcohol. I haven't done that yet because, like I said, I decided to try and review this last night at 1 o'clock in the morning. So, it's up there. 
Nothing, just reading the comments. Yeah. I know I'm behind on the comments now. Um, oh, hi, Stephanie from the Gulf Coast. You're right around the corner. Uh, let's see. Moon Mouse. Can you remember Moon Mouse? There's, that's something for fixing things in palettes. So I might need that for the highlighter. Thank you so much. Um, so for those of you who are wondering what product to use for fixing shades in your palette, Lonnie says Moon Mouse is what it's called for palette fixing and it works. That's a great tip, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean the Clay Play palette has been on sale everywhere and it's going out of stock. It seems like they're just phasing it out and that they're going straight to the Clay Play palette too. But with so many people having disasters with it, with this highlighter, I I'm not sure how it's gonna sell. And I'm really, I, I really feel like there's something really weird. I mean, this shade is not Onyx. It's called Onyx in Clay Play 2 and in Clay Play 1. It's black in Clay Play 1. Does that look like Onyx to you? Mm -mm. It, it's very weird. This whole thing is, is it's just very weird. And like this smoke, smoke here, smoke, this is smoke in Clay Play 2. I, I just, I feel like they totally forgot about labeling the palette to get it out. Are and the blush called, like, is called Desert. Are those called like Timber too? Yeah, literally, literally this palette is this palette. Just They just drop different shades in it. Crazy. Very, very weird. Well, on a different topic, just for a second. I'm coloring in my uh, pocket doodle Christmas book that I got the other day. And I'm catching up on my days. I'm on day eight. But I'm supposed to draw a toy airplane. So comment what color I should make the airplane. Because I can't decide. It can be any color of the rainbow plus pink, teal, and yeah. So. Yeah. Some serious coloring going on. Just yes. Trying to and catch I'll up. shout out the person that, the people that comment what color I end up going. With. Yes. Um, I, Heather, that's a good question. She says, I don't understand that they're thinking with that. Does Tarte need to save money that badly? No. I mean, that's, I love Tarte. Look. I've got an entire bin set aside in one of my drawers because I have been intending to do a Tarte brand review or a best of, worst of, or a top 10, top five, bottom five. I, I, I'm still figuring it out in my mind of Tarte because I have a ton from them. And the reason why I haven't done it yet is because they keep coming out with new things. And so I keep thinking, well, I'll do it after I try that. And I think it was after I got my Tarte Toasted palette, I was going to do it. And then they came out with something else. And I was like, at some point, I'm going to have to do this video because I just, I can't keep getting everything they're coming out with. I just need to do this video and I don't have everything. It's just the things that I have, but I love Tarte and, um, I just, this was just a weird palette for me. And as much as I love the clay play one, I assumed I would love the clay play too, but this thing is bizarre, <laughs> really bizarre. So I'm going to put out probably kind of a funky, video and you know try to keep everything really positive but sometimes you can't <laughs> yeah I, I don't like controversy I don't, I don't like drama any, or anything like that but I mean I, I'm as honest as they come and that's just you know that's just how I am Annie's in our life oh you're, you're running yeah oh. <laughs> hi Annie um okay so hi Janet Merry Christmas and let's see, orange and pink, orange and pink. Wait, what is orange and pink referencing? Oh, uh, what color I should do the airplane? Oh, oh. okay. So, <laughs> wait, I'm confused. So here's the update on the colors. Orange and pink times one. Three people said pink. Purple. Pink. One person said purple, one said blue, one said red and green. So I guess I will do pink. It's a lot of colors. Oh, someone's, two people actually said red and green. So, okay, if I don't use your colors for the toy airplane, I will definitely use it for another mm -hmm. my next day after yes by the order of how many people said what color so i guess we'll do pink but keep commenting color so i can you know. <laughs> yeah so anyway so that's my tragic clay play to palette story and it was so irritating because i was waiting on that to get here last night because i really wanted to get a review out for you guys and i was thinking i'm not going to get to get the, this review out because everybody's christmas shopping and i'm going to have to you know go return this thing and then get it 
what the not the day after Christmas, like the week after Christmas. And then I thought, you know, mm -mm, I'm just going to review this as it is because I can review the other colors. I just, um, I have a very honest perspective <laughs> of this palette at this point. So, um, oh, thank you, Deanna. I hope I'm saying that right. It's not Dina or De Deanna Thompson. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know. I, I know a lot of people, I got a lot of responses back from that, um, Insta stories and then the snap about that palette. Very disappointing to us all. So yeah, on a positive note, I had to, I had to put this gloss on. Hang on. <laughs> just one second. It's, it's killing me. I just gotta try it. It's shiny. Well, while she's putting that on, here's the update on the airplane. I'm doing pink with blue windows, so there's what it looks like. It's going to be great. Okay. Sorry, it was just calling to me. I've never tried this brand. Have any of you guys ever tried anything from Pretty Vulgar? I see the brand, but it's never really drawn me in. It has a weird smell. What do you smell? No, I don't know. It smells, but it's not weird. Um, on a positive note, I, um, hi, Brianna. I, um, from Illinois. That is where my mom's sister lives is in Illinois. She's actually going to be visiting her very soon, uh, right after Christmas. So, um, oh, thank you so much. Busy mama says her three-year-old daughter likes to watch her videos, my videos with her. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, Jessica. She said I'm adorable. You are adorable. Oh, and thanks, Heather. She said Merry Christmas to you too, Karen. Thank you. Um, okay, so I have used ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lips and some of their um, lippy sticks, and I like them. When I first tried them, I wasn't so sure, and then I've grown to like them a little bit more, and I placed an order for something that I can't say, not because of her, but anyway, recently. And then I was thinking, you know what? There's a palette that just came out that was really calling to me, and that was the Dream Street palette. And um, you guys are so sweet, thank you. <laughs> um, this is the new Kathleen Lights collab. I've never tried their eyeshadows before. So for some reason, this palette was calling to me and I've actually never even touched their eyeshadow palettes. I know they have some at Sephora, but I had heard that they were kind of just, I don't know, okay, but I wanted to order them and they're so reasonably priced. I don't know why I hadn't tried them before. Um, if you guys have tried ColourPop shadows, comment because if you, ha I want to know what you think, but if you haven't, I'm impressed. Um, I gotta say, I just, this palette, there's something about this that is so inspiring to me, the pop of color. I love the deep teal. There's two shades of teal and you probably can't see that because the lighting is not good in here right now, but this is a really deep teal and this is a kind of shimmery teal. Um, I just, I love this palette and, um, I got it in the quality. I am just super, super impressed with. Um, so I just cannot wait to start using this. And so then while I was at it, I just decided to get the, um, what is this called? Um, I think I love you palette and also gorgeous, absolutely stunning. So I have to say for a reasonable price now, I mean, there's no mirror in these palettes. I, you know, I get why they're priced the way they are and the shadows are a lot smaller. I was a little bit surprised when I open them at how much smaller the shadows are than say even Mac shadows. I mean, they're not, you know, the size of your pinky or anything, but they're a little bit smaller, but, the quality of these is amazing and I am kicking myself for waiting so long to place my order. So just letting y'all know if y'all are looking for a good value and good quality, this is the way to go. I, I will be obviously doing some looks and some videos and reviews and all kinds of stuff with these. So, um, let's see, I'm missing some comments. Uh. Oh, Cindy, you got, which, which one did you get, Cindy, Dream Street or the I Think I Love You? And have you used it yet? 
I started piling some on yesterday over what I already had on. <laughs> I thought it was like, oh, this is good. It stayed on the whole rest of the day. It was absolutely beautiful. Oh, um, there is a really good dupe for the cold copper Armani eyeshadow. Somebody's asking about a dupe for it. Um, and I'm, of course, I'm blanking out now because in one of my palettes, there's a great dupe. I want to say in the um, Persona pal Identity Palette. You know what? I probably should put that in a video. Um, because people ask me for dupes of that all the time. And actually, um, Wet n Wild Nutty, the single, is a pretty good dupe for an inexpensive shadow. I think they're still making that. I know they changed the formulas of those Wet n Wild shadows, but the color of it is pretty darn close, at least the old formula of the Wet n Wild Nutty, just that single square shadow. That was a great color dupe. And um, there was, that persona identity palette it's available at ulta i talked about it in my november favorites it's one of my favorite palettes i again i'm kicking myself for waiting so long to get that palette but there's a real i think there's a dupe in there it's close um let's see but i i still think that cold copper is like just a, a perfect shade to have everybody I know that's gotten it no one's regretted it even with as much as it costs because you wear it you genuinely wear it a ton and it just applies so easily so I'm just taking some of these shadows and swatching them real quick while I talk just to show you how pretty they are I just can't get over it <sighs> dream street it's just stunning I can't get over it. this is just like a one finger swatch of the shimmers Which and you like better of what the two palettes um i don't know i mean they're both really pretty but they're a little bit different you know she's always asking me what i like better so the look i'm in the worst spot these are one finger swatches of and why is this light so horrible hold on can y'all see that yeah like that's really really pretty there that's a little better I just literally took my finger and went like that on all of them and I lost my tissue <laughs> do well, you have one no hmm, I might have eyeshadow on my arm the rest of the day and the um and the mat mat that's the word I mean so like that's the mat same thing. I mean, look how smooth that is. It's hard to find, I think, a palette that really has really good, uh, well, that's like almost the same color as my skin. That wasn't a good one. But that has really smooth mattes and shimmers that just glide on. Look at that. That's good. I'm excited. My hand's starting to hurt. Okay, I gotta get a tissue. You can take a break, babe. No, I really I mean, <laughs> Nobody's making you do it. I know, but I, I want to finish and show them. Dose of, okay, so, um, hey, Tori, I just saw you popped in. I'm scrolling up through the comments. Um, I have heard about the Profusion line. I haven't tried them yet, but I, I've heard that they're pretty good. And I'm okay, so I'm excited to see some good things about the Dream Street. That's exciting. I need an opinion. Okay, Brooke needs an opinion. Should oh, I, is that just for me? Yes, because I want to wear okay. it. Should I add purple or should I just keep it? No. I like it like that. Well, like for the background and for the eight. Should I make it pink and blue or should I put purple? Pink and blue. Okay. Um, Dose of Colors Baked Brown is a really good, and that is that a really good dupe? for Armani is that what you're saying um I just want to make sure because if it is I'll, I'll let everybody know hi everybody we got some new people popping in yes the swatches are I mean swatch is great but of course I mean I know you know swatches can only tell a part of the story but 
like I said, I kind of piled some on to my current look from yesterday <laughs> and it, it, it looked really good. All of a sudden my hair's in my face. Um, I love the modern Renaissance. That's another one. Why did I wait so long to get it? I just didn't get on that bandwagon because I just wasn't into the red. Sometimes that reddish pinkish can make me look kind of ill. It doesn't, it, it's beautiful. So, um, I just, I can't get over the color pop for the money. So good. So good. Um, yeah, the way I'm anxious to try the new reformulated wet and wild shadows. None of my Walgreens have them. Do yours everywhere I've been, I've tried three different Walgreens and they still have the old stuff. I, I don't know. I feel like we're just the slowest and last to get anything new ever. I don't know why. Sorry, Brooke. We're just in a slow area. Um, for, uh, who asked? Charlie, I was swatching the Dream Street palette by ColourPop, okay. which I am in love with. I'm done. <laughs> Brooke's done. Are, are y'all ready to see my airplane? For all you new people, I asked for requests for colors to make a toy mm -hmm. airplane. Okay. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful. And I did the pink, as most of you requested. So. Awesome. Just comment if you think it's good. <laughs> God. Oh, you're funny. See, she says it looks pretty. It does look pretty. So, um, what is everybody doing? Is everybody uh, here staying in town for Christmas and all that? Or are y'all traveling? What's the situation? We are, what are we doing? We are st we're staying in town, but um, you know, like I said, today we have our pajama night at um, my husband, my, my in-laws, and then tomorrow we're pretty much home all day until the evening, and then we, um, we have a mass that you're in tomorrow, um, and then we go to Christmas Eve at my sister-in-law's, and then Christmas morning, we do our thing. My parents come over, and then we end up back at my sister-in-law's for a big Christmas um, Christmas Day thing. So we're kind of like hopping all over the place. So it's busy, but good. Did anyone else comment about my thing? Yes, very pretty. Good job. Looks good. Very pretty. Good job, Rick. Looks pretty. You're validated. Thank you, everyone. Now I like Boston, Candace. Yes. We no. went to Boston earlier this year. It was fun. I'm sorry. I'm doing a gingerbread man now. So. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Ooh, they can help me name it. <laughs> well, I think we're about to. We're, we're, we're about done. Oh. Sorry. I don't like it. Anymore. Yeah. So, um, I think. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, I think um, that's a. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I understand that we had a very um, we had a change in our family dynamic two years ago. Was that two years ago, Brooke? Yeah, twenty fifteen. Um, it's changed all of our holidays forever. Um, yeah, so I, I totally it's it's terrible. I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, I have a a viewer, busy mama. I, I, I'm going to say your last name wrong, but. Um, says her grandmother passed away two weeks ago and so her family Christmas is not going to be the same and that's it's so awful when things like that happen around the holidays it's just terrible um, my mom is going the day after Christmas to her sister's um, house in Illinois because um, her sister's husband passed away yesterday morning it, it's it's just such a it's a hard time of year anyway anytime you lose somebody and it, yeah, it changes things forever, for sure. So sorry. Oh, Stack of Kittens, my favorite username. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember you from last I love it. time. Yeah, no, I'm glad I'm getting some feedback on the um, ColourPop. I, and I don't know why. I don't know if I just thought it was a younger brand or what. I, I don't know. I, you know, not like I'm... 80 but I just never got on board for some reason I just I don't know oh thank you I appreciate that thank you she said she was sorry for our family too thanks thank you 
Oh, thank you. Okay, so I have a subscriber that says um, she saw me from the Double Wear video the first time and immediately subscribed. And um, you like the L'Occitane facial oil too. I love that stuff. I know it's pricey, but I really like it. It's funny, that Double Wear video. Okay, I'm going to ask y'all's opinions because I've been thinking about this. So I don't know how many of you guys, look, here I am. We're going to go and then I'll just keep talking. It's okay. They like <laughs> um, that Estee Lauder double wear video, how to apply Estee Lauder double wear without looking cakey. I know it got a lot of people to my channel. It is also my most heavily criticized video. <laughs> it's my most viewed video and the one that I get the most hate comments on and they're ugly comments and, and a lot of them I will delete and I have a disclaimer in there because I, I basically said if you're coming on here to leave an ugly comment, just be rude. I'm going to delete it and people still do because you know, it was early in my channel. It, my intro is way too long. I talk too long. I know I probably am not the most smiley and friendly, like, you know, like I am now, <laughs> but you know, I wasn't used to being in front of the camera. Um, so I've thought about maybe doing an updated version or maybe doing, I don't know, something of the same variation, but updated. I mean, do you think that's worth it? I, I just, I don't know. I, I've, I've contemplated, but I know it's helped a lot of people. And so, I, I don't know. You don't have any feedback? Huh? I, I don't know. I mean, I think for all the hate comments you get, well, not hateful, like, you know, the mean comments. The rude, the rude ones. They're like yeah. overpowered by good ones. Yeah, it's a good perspective. And Thank people, you, April. Comment good names for a gingerbread man. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to take it down. I mean, no, I didn't, definitely would not do that. Um, because like, you know, like I said, it has brought a lot of people to my channel and it has helped out so many people. Um, I just, I feel, gosh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm a little stiff in it. And I guess the beginning, yes, I am rambly. I mean, go figure <laughs> me rambly. But <laughs> it's just, um, I don't know if I should do an update that's more general full coverage foundations or should I just do another double wear like an update where it's a little more condensed i don't know i guess i could do a poll on my community tab yeah. i don't know yeah because if you're just doing it because of the hate like don't let them drive you to make a new video. <laughs> thanks brooke then you're just she always puts things into perspective for me <laughs> then you're just making them happy because they're just like yeah. you can't um cynthia so that's a good point um and thank you so much for appreciating the video and thank you all i appreciate all these comments um you can't edit and and put in extra footage into a youtube video so like once a video goes up you can trim things but you can't edit it and redo it like once it goes up so it kind of is how it is so um that's just the way it works. Um, if you didn't see my comment, comment some good names for a gingerbread man. For my gingerbread man. No, I don't think they changed that sailor or double wear. No. Oh, have fun baking, Annette. I need to. Oh, I'm not baking this year. It's the first year I haven't baked anything. I think. Mac and cheese. Well, yeah, I mean like dessert type things. Uh -oh. April, I think it's um, busy mama says, Brooke, never lose your positivity. Agreed. I still haven't gotten any gingerbread man names. Please. Does anyone have a name for her poor little nameless gingerbread man? Donate to the cause of the gingerbread man. Name. Bye, guys that are having to check out. I know we've been on here for a little while. So, um, Mr. Crumbly, Hank. Keith L. Um, yes, please update. I use it to cover melasma, but it can easily become cakey. Yes. Um, so even with using the techniques in that video, um, this is for Keith L. Does it still get cakey for you? Or have you seen that video and it still gets cakey for you? Let me ask you that. It's not going to offend me if you haven't seen it yet. But if you haven't, I would tell you to go watch it. Because that might, it would probably help you. I know it's, it's just helped a lot of people. Hank. Hank the gingerbread man and Mr. Crumbly. Sammy. Cornelius. Oh, Crumbs. All such good names. Crumbs, Max, Rudolph, and Bob. How will I ever choose? That's tough. I'll look through them. Yeah, right you're going to have to look. I'll let you know within the next minute. You guys are so sweet. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your feedback on that. Um, 
yeah, I've just kind of been contemplating it. And I've got some, I think some good ideas for the upcoming year for some things that I want to do and um, some not, not changes to my channel overall, but things I want to add in and do more of that I think are really good. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be good. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm doing my best of 2017 videos. Last year, I think I had four for the best of 2016. And I feel like everybody was doing just a general best of. There were a few that did categories. Now I feel like everybody's doing all these categories. And so I guess I'll still do categories like I did last year. Okay. I hope it's not overkill. I did them in January. Okay, what? so oh. for my gingerbread man, I'm either doing Roy, Sammy, or Hank. So what do y'all think he looks like? I haven't colored some of the buttons, but Roy, Sammy, or Hank? Hank. I know you didn't ask me. <laughs> Mr. Jolly. Oh, that's cute. But I want to do something like... The Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer, Karen, the one with the wand, I, I think I'm almost out. I have been using it almost every day. It is definitely, spoiler, going in my 2017 Best Of video. <gasps> So if you're on my live video, you just got a spoiler. <laughs> it is a good concealer. I love it. I have it on today. I think it's great. I use it on my under eyes a lot. I use it more than Shape Tape these days. Oh, I have two Sammies and two Hanks. So Roy is out. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do, um, I am going to do the full video, the chart video. Re-video? What is that um, video for sure? Oh, I'm glad you like uh, the video that we, I did with Risa. Her nine-year-old son said Hank. I know. I have two Sammies and three Hanks. Maybe you should name him Sammy Hank. Samuel Hank. No, I like Sammy more than Samuel. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, I think for the best of 2017, I, might, I, I think I'm going to have to narrow it down because I have so many products on there that I really love. But I'm also going to be doing some top five videos this year, like my top five, blah, blah, blah. So I think I'm just going to force myself to narrow it down to my really major standouts and completely just narrow it down. And I may not even have full out categories. I just may t just say, okay, this is what I'm going to put in my best of 2017 and do makeup or do maybe face products and I don't know, maybe lips and eyes and then the rest of the face and then maybe one for skincare and one for lifestyle. I think that's what I did last year. Oh, yeah, you did do that. And you did one for random with the little uh -huh. um, earbud holder that you had. Yeah, because I did one for lifestyle. I did one for skincare. And I then I did, and I think I did an entire one for lips and then I did eyes and face. That's what I did last year. Okay. Oh, wait, did I roll my eyes or did she roll her eyes? <laughs> Who knows? Wait, did you roll your eyes at me, girl? Wait, what? Where did you say that? Yes, Estee Lauder does make a concealer. They actually, they make two. They make one that is in um, a tube, or a, a, well, they're both in tubes. One's in a squeezy tube, and one is in like a glass or a plastic tube with a wand. The squeezy tube is good for the face. It's waterproof, and it dries really quickly, but it makes your under eyes look really, really dry. And I had that in a favorites video. I liked it, but I just didn't like it under my eyes. And then the one with the wand is good for under the eyes. I really like it. Um, yeah, Deanna, I have a whole video on testing concealers for under eye darkness, but I didn't try this Estee Lauder one when I did that video. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I just didn't even realize it existed either. Bye, Heather. Have a good evening, afternoon, <laughs> whatever time it is. <sighs> Let's see. Um, sometimes I roll my eyes when I think. I, it wasn't at her. I just like, ro I'm rolling my eyes because I'm trying to think of what to say. It just, it happens. I don't know. I'm like searching for words in my head. It just happens. I do that sometimes. Yeah. And when I just like look away, my eyes roll sometimes. I had to make an effort after I started my channel to not do it because I had a few people call me out on it right after... I don't know, after I had a few videos, because I had a few people say that I rolled my eyes a lot in my videos. Now, I didn't even realize I did it, but I was, 
when I talk, sometimes, you know, sometimes you stumble over your words and I was trying to think of something to say and I would just roll my eyes a little, it just happens. <laughs> so I think I've gotten better at it, but every now and then I'll catch myself, you know, trying to think of a word and there they go. <laughs> it just happens. <sighs> Everyone so. has those things. <laughs> Karen, for primers, I'm not sure what you've tried. I like the, um, I mean, the Hourglass Veil primer is. Oh, can I name one? Yeah, go. The Guerlain Meteorites primer. Yeah, I do like that one. I mean, it's pricey, but I like that primer a lot. I like um, the Hourglass Veil mineral primer. It's my holy grail. Like, it just seems to work with pretty much everything. Um, the Rimmel Stay Matte is good if you are particularly oily and you're looking for something drugstore. The NYX Angel Veil, I think, is good for a lot of people. For me, if I use it too many days in a row, it dries me out. And, you know, I've, I haven't used it enough since I initially tried it. I use it sporadically to see if there – I didn't look at the ingredients to see if there was alcohol in it. I probably should. But something in it just makes me dry if I use it too much. Um what am I forgetting? I've been really liking the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I talked about it in my last favorites video. I It's great. It does have a glow to it, but it really does help my makeup stay on longer. I have it on today underneath the Smashbox 15 hour long wear. I have, I haven't bought it all day. Now that I think about it. Well, you bought that highlighter earlier. Well, cause I had more highlighter on this cheek than this cheek. I don't know how it happened. It happened. So I tried to blot some down. <laughs> But like as far as blotting shine, I have blotted literally all day long. So um, even though it's a glowy primer. And there's another one that I've been trying. It's in a purple tube. Purple tube. Hang on. I'm going to go look. Brooke, can you read these comments for me? Sure. Um, I, I don't know a price offhand, Charlie, for the Estee Lauder concealer. Shoot, I'm going to trip over this. I don't set my under eyes. I don't set my under eyes. Estee Lauder Water Nude is what I've been wearing lately. I have had nicer looking under eyes since I started using erase paste, thanks to Stephanie. Oh, yay. I love hearing, like, when I help, when I actually help, you know? It just makes me feel so good. Um, okay, so I got this. I think I ordered it from Sephora. It's Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Filter. I got it on a whim. I think I read a couple of good reviews about it and I thought I would try it. It is, it claims to instantly blur, fill, and help reduce the look of pores, fine lines, and imperfections with a natural looking matte finish. A powerful mattifying complex absorbs excess oil while something something reduces the appearance of pore size and shape over time. So I've been using this and testing it out. It says you can use it alone for a beautiful no filter look or under makeup for flawless results and it's for all skin types. I've been enjoying it. So it's going to be a little bit less than the hourglass, but I, I like it. So this might be one that you might want to check out too. You want me to hold that up again? That's what that looks like. Um, Sack of Kittens would like to know, Brooke, what are you doing for winter break? Uh, I have no idea, honestly. I had a party yesterday with my friends where we exchanged Secret Santa gifts because every year we do a Secret Santa. So I had that yesterday. And, um, well, we're doing family stuff, as we've been saying. But I'll probably just have some sleepovers. Oh, I have, like, high school applications and stuff. Um, over break, I have, like, my test for high school on the 6th so but that's all I really know of yeah high school here starts in eighth grade which is a little bit odd um it, it's an all-girls school it's, it's a it's a whole different world down here in New Orleans it's it's just all different so it's not like you know it's a scary high school world it's all it's all good um I'm going back up to some of the comments that said um are there people on here Maria Casey are there people in here with creepy Creepy under eyes, creepy under eyes, creepy under eyes that don't set their concealer. I'm not one of those people. I have to set because I think I, y'all have seen me in my videos where I'm, you know, doing a get ready with me or I'm doing a tutorial and I'll look down for a second and I'll just start to crease here. So I always have to pat it out before I set it. I, I have to, I hate it because I'm thinking what happens when I get even older 
and I start to look even drier under here. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with that, but I have to, I have to set my under eyes. Um, and you also said, I think I'll need filler under the eyes. I think that's how so many people your age look good. So I do think there's people that have filler, but I don't think as many people get filler as we think they do, but I think there are a lot. I am not opposed to doing it. I mean, I'm saying this in front of Brooke. I, I think if something makes you feel good, then go for it. I don't think that the stigma of filler done right. Yeah. I, okay. I'm gonna back up. I think that there's a stigma of filler because we see a lot of people with really badly done filler and they look, you know, all crazy and, and, you know, just plasticky. But, you know, I've actually, I've talked to my dermatologist about it. I have dark hollows. I have troughs and I've asked her because I feel like every year and it's true every year you lose between it's like five to 10% of the fat in your face. And part of that is going to come from the under eye area. And if you're someone like me or like Maria KC who has hollows under the eyes already, that's going to continue to get worse and you're going to look more tired and hollowed out. So I said, you know, there may come a point when I want to look more refreshed. And I actually showed her a picture that I came across of a woman and it was this area and it really just looked, she looked exactly the same. It just, this part looked more refreshed. That was it. No makeup. It just looked more filled out and refreshed. And she said that would be filler. We talked about it. Um, I haven't done it. I'm not opposed to it. If I ever get to a point where I just think, oh God, I mean, this is, <laughs> there's nothing else I can do. Um, you know, I don't think it, it's a bad thing if it makes you feel good. And if you feel like you need it, you know, I, it's money though. That's the thing. Okay. Well, <laughs> back I, to the drawing. I, I finish, um, my gingerbread man and the final name. Oh, I had sushi yesterday, Maria. And the final name is Sammy Hank. And this is what he looks like. So I combined the names. Oh, okay. Well, there's the, there's the two that I've done. So I hope y'all like it. Merry Christmas. I'm seeing a few people have to go. Oh, so y'all start even earlier over in Australia high school. When do they start? So you're seven. Karen says you are so well spoken and mature. Thank you. Right, I think Sack of Kitten said Stephanie Nicole did under eye filler. Um, she's in her early 30s and it looks great. And um, you may consider it when you win the lottery. Ditto. <laughs> if I ever get, you know, really great bonus or something like that, I may just head on over. You know, and now they can do it with a cannula. I mean, I really did talk to my dermatologist about it, uh, you know, and. She said they could do it with a cannula and it doesn't bruise as much and things like that. Um, it's just when you look in the mirror every day and you struggle with something and you have the dark circles and the hollows and you just look tired and you really cannot walk out of the house without concealer and you don't want to answer your door without concealer because you just look like a zombie. Mm, it's a problem. So, <laughs> you know, um, I know it does get worse as you get older. Um, volume loss is real. And I think people just think you get more vain or whatever. It's not necessarily that it is uh, volume loss is real. And that's why getting older, you know, aging gracefully, it, it's, it's tough. Men have it so much easier. I draw a toy car. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I guess I should, what, what was the next voted for color? It was blue. yeah filler lasts a long time like I think you know Botox is like uh, varies for people like what is it six to six weeks to four months or something like Wait, that how long think. Botox lasts? Uh -huh. and, uh, the point of getting it? well I mean it lasts for a while and then once you get it a little bit more it lasts longer if you keep maintaining it but you're saying filler can last for a year so I mean it, it's more but you get more out of your investment Oh. Sammy Hank for the win. Yes, Sammy Hank for the win. Yeah. Okay, guys, we've been on here forever. <laughs> it's going to be the longest video. Like
I know it's so easy to say that we'll just accept our aging looks when we're in our twenties and the story changes when you're in your forties. That is so true because I've got friends now that said they would never do anything. And now they're all going, well, <laughs> it happens. It's real. And it doesn't mean you're any more vain than you were. It's just, it's, it's hard when you start to see your face change and you look in pictures and you don't see the person that you think you are. It's fun. I, I have a, I may have said this in my last live video, but my a former coworker who was 10 years older than me said every time she walks past a, a window, a store window or a mirror, she's really young and vibrant and fun. And she, you know, dances and you know, she's just great. And she said, she just doesn't even recognize the person that is walking past this window. Cause she's 50, 52 now. And she said, um, she, it's like she still feels like she's 35 and then she sees the person and she's like, what is going on? Who am I? You know, I mean, it happens. So, Hey Amber, you made it. <laughs> of course now, of course now I'm about to get off, <laughs> but I'm glad to see you pop in here. Um, Botox two to three months. Yeah. So, I mean, you definitely get your money out of filler. <laughs> Boy, this whole conversation has, I mean, we have talked about everything today. <laughs> Um, Merry Christmas to you, um, sack of kittens. Okay, so you're heading to the mall. My friend uh, that is a shopper, she went out by our mall today that's close by and said that hardly anybody was on the road. She was expecting a full-out shopping battle and said it was kind of weird. So I don't know what's going on today. How has that been going, Amber? Are you liking it for the brow lift? I, I, I've worried about that because sometimes it can give you that surprise look and that always made me nervous. But then I thought it might be kind of good for me because I have a big forehead. So maybe it would take some of the real estate from my forehead and, you know, give me a little bit of an eye lift and it might help the hooded eye situation too. Oh, thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate that. You guys are so sweet. Um, yeah, this has been a good live. Talk about it a lot. Show your eyes routine always and as often as you. Do you mean um, like get it, get ready with me or tutorials for eyes? Is that what you mean? Gaga? Is that your <laughs> Okay, so Amber says for the brow lift, um, she loves it. And you need someone who really knows the muscles. Some muscles will bring down the brows and it does help with hooded eyes. Okay. I wondered that because I, because I've had Botox before and I originally had gotten it for here because I was really starting to get some 11s here and I never was concerned about anything with my forehead. And I feel like the older I get, the more when I'm doing my eye makeup, I raise my brows to do my eye makeup because my hood rests on my lid. <laughs> and so I'm thinking that's not going to be good for my forehead crease that seems to be getting worse and worse the older I get. So, um, I don't know. I wondered about that the other day. It's like, hmm. Yeah. Aging gracefully. It's so much fun. I have Botox done my forehead and my eyes became more heavy. Yeah, I know. I mean, that, you got to get somebody really good. I guess that really knows exactly what you want. Oh, thank you so much, Gaga. I appreciate that. I try. It's I try to get a, a balance of talking and tutorials because you know my channel is not all tutorials, and I don't know. I feel like I'm not the foremost expert on everything either. But I'm glad you enjoy them, and I do try to do them. I actually have one that I'm editing right now. Um, I actually need to get it up before New Year's because it's kind of a New Year's thing. And I'm trying out a new brand. So that should be going up next week. And um, yeah, so I'll have one next week for you. Yes, Karen, I, I know. Um, you know, I'll never forget a comment. Okay, so Karen said, I don't think it's vanity. I hate when people comment, are you okay? You look sick. The dark circles are a bummer. They don't reflect on how good I feel. Absolutely. Oh, um, yeah, one time. On my Christmas haul of Amber, last, Amber says hi, bro. Oh, hi. On my Christmas haul of last year, I had just been, like, sick, I think. 
And someone com- and I had so many comments that were like, you look sick. And they were like, stop trying to look happy and stuff. And I was like, okay. Thanks. <laughs> they were like, you look really tired. Yeah, like, that's the worst. You look so tired. I'm like, that doesn't. Thanks. Like, I, I know that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, wait, what was this? Oh, yeah. So, you know, my eyes are kind of small. And. I remember one time I went to a family function and I just didn't line my eyes. I just didn't want to. I was like, I'm just going to wear mascara because sometimes if I just wear mascara and curl my lashes, it makes my eyes look more, you know, brighter. Michael's grandmother asked if I was sick and said that I didn't look well because, and I mean, I guess my eyes look small or something. I don't know. I was like, okay, well, that's the last time I'm not wearing any eyeliner anywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's like the things people say. <laughs> Thanks. And you remember that. That's the stuff you remember. It's that one comment, you know, that somebody made. Um, so Tori says she got Botox for um, her migraines and never let him put it in her face because the first time her eyebrows dropped so bad. You know, I, I would, I, that's not going to happen every time. I would think if you went to somebody else, you know, or I don't know. It would probably be better the next time. It's probably just because it wasn't injected in the right spot. Um, so yeah, um, Janet, we did talk about BoxyCharm already. We actually did the whole, we unboxed the BoxyCharm. So you'll be able to see it on the replay for sure. Oh, thank you so much. Um, trick, trick, trick Steen says that I have a very youthful face. You're younger than your age and you don't need things like Botox plus wrinkles makes the face look natural with motion. Yes, it does. Um, thank you, Amber. Um, y'all are, y'all are so sweet. Um, so yeah, I know. I, and that's the thing with family, they think that they can say anything and that it's okay. And it's like, oh, it still hurts, you know, <laughs> just like, just like rude commenters under videos, which we talked about earlier. Uh, oh, look at your car. You want to show your car? Sure. I drew a toy car. I mean, it doesn't really look like a toy car, but, like, you can't really tell the difference between a toy car and a regular car. But here's what it looks like. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, I think... Um, that's it for today. I think we're going to head out and relax a little bit before we go to Christmas Adam, which is what you call it. I said that to my neighbors the other day. I was like, yeah, we do a Christmas Adam on the 23rd. And the uh, husband was like, Christmas Adam? And the wife knew exactly. She goes, you know, it's like Christmas Eve, Eve, the Christmas Eve before Christmas Eve, Christmas Adam. She knew. He had no clue. I was like, yeah, we just do our Christmas Eve tonight. Um, what day, uh, Janet's asking what day now, Brooke, 10? What day? What day for what? Oh, for my book? For my book, I'm on day 11 right now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and Wait, right now I'm drawing money. Um, as you can tell, I'm not very good at drawing money, but you know, <laughs> it's okay. I know, I'm glad you hopped on too, Amber. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry we didn't get you earlier. Um, I know. I'm glad that you all decided to join us. It was just kind of a random thing. We came home from our tea, which is now our annual Christmas thing that we do, just the two of us, and um, decided to do this live chat since we hadn't unboxed the Boxy Charm here on December 23rd. <laughs> we just thought we would do it with you guys. So thank you so much. And um, I, I mean, it wouldn't be a video without a face from Brooke, right? <laughs> So, and Luke says bye in his own way. No, he's so He's cute. curled up. I wish y'all could see him right I now. I know. I can't disturb him. He's That would snoozing. just be inhumane. So, thank y'all so much for being here, and I will see you guys. I think I'm going to try and put a video up on Tuesday. So, I will see you guys then. Of course, I'll be on you know Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all that between now and then. So, bye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.